how to become a positive thinker. Do you know how many thoughts creep into your mind every single day? Experts estimate that the mind thinks between 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. And of those, 80% are negative. And 95% are exactly the same repetitive thought that you had the day before or yesterday. Therefore, there's only 20% of our thinking which are positive. Our body responds to the way we think, we feel, and act. Positive thinking are good for your state of mind. It can also improve your self-confidence and psychological well-being. Here is the thing though, no one is born positive thinker, but you can learn to become one just by developing your positive thinking skill. So what can you do to negate the negative thinking and only think positively? To be a positive thinker, you need to learn how to really, really, really question your thinking. And if questioning your thinking is not your forte, then it can be almost impossible if you have between 60 or 80,000 thoughts a day to question, right? The first step is just by start noticing your thinking when you are in a difficult situation. Do you engage in such as negative self-talk? Do you mentally criticize yourself or others? Some of the most common types of negative thinking involve focusing on only what we don't one. You know, for example, let's imagine that you have just spent a busy day. You were excellent in a meeting and completed an important task before the deadline. But you missed to return one important phone call. You know, despite the successes in the, of the day, that evening, you are at home, you find yourself pondering on that one slip up and worry how that will affect your success at work. What you should do, just acknowledge the negative and reflect on the good and magnifying them. Try to feel good about them. Self-blame is another common type of negative thinking. You know, this type of negative thinking can be particularly very damaging to your psychological well-being, frankly speaking. By taking the blame for the things that are not your fault or are not in your control, your self-esteem and self-confidence seriously will suffer. Changing the negative thinking cycle can be very difficult indeed, and it is a process that takes time. It is important to note that simply repeating platitudes such as I am good enough, I am smart enough, people like me, is as good as you have done absolutely nothing. Positive thinking is not about ignoring all the negative things you will encounter in your life. That approach can be just as devastating as ignoring the positive and only focusing on the negative. You need to balance with a healthy dose of realism is the key here. So what can you do when you find yourself overwhelmed processing those 80,000 thoughts, which most of them are negative? Start with a small step. You know, after all, you are essentially trying to cultivate a new habit. And this thing, take time. Start by identifying one area of your life that is most affected by negative thinking. You know, perhaps you tend to think negatively about your personal you know, appearance or your performance at work. By starting with a single and relatively specific area of your life, the change will more likely to stick of a long run. So let's imagine that you have chosen to focus on your negative thinking with regard to your ability at work. The next step is to spend a little bit of time each day evaluating your thinking. When you find yourself thinking critical about how you are not capable or not good enough, take a moment to pause and reflect. While you may be upset about feeling not the most smartest, is berating yourself really the best approach? Is there any way to put a positive spin 
on the situation while you may not have done well in this project or that task at least you have a better indication now of how to structure your work for the next big impact now watch carefully for the negative self-talk when your inner monologue starts suggesting that you will never be successful or the work is too hard or whatever find a way to take a more positive view of the situation for example if you are struggling to finish your report on time look for ways that you can rearrange your schedule to make more time for the project or do more research find out how other people have done it you know rather than, than giving into hopelessness so let me summarize being a positive thinker is not about ignoring the reality in favor of aspirational or philosophical thinking it is more about taking a proactive approach to your life instead of feeling hopeless a positive mental attitude allows you to tackle life difficulty by looking for effective way to resolve conflict and come up with a creative solution to problem. It may not be easy, I understand, but the positive impact it will have on your mental, emotional and physical well-being will be well worth it. It takes practice a lot of practice indeed there's no step-by-step -step process that you can complete and be done with it involves a long life commitment to looking inside yourself and being willing to challenge negativity and make positive changes so next time in the well-being series we are tackling how to build your resilience so not to miss that video if you have not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button you know i hope really that you find this video very useful and do like this video to show appreciation and if you are a regular friend coming back again i really appreciate your invaluable support and i'm looking forward to see you next week and may god you know bless you thank you es mi maña uh -huh. Que lo que toca mi mano se daña Pero amor es lo que dicen Como un color entre los grises Yo nunca te fallé Tú no eres cualquier